first of all, as you can see, the foramens along with their contents, some of the contents. So we are going to start with the uh, first thing first. We will start with the which one we need to start. Okay. <clears throat> this red area, okay, this is our optic canal, correct? As you can see here, this is the optic canal, okay? And the optic canal will transmit the optic nerve, okay? And also sometimes the ophthalmic artery and sometimes the sympathetic nerves as well. But mainly this area, this is known as the optic canal, okay? So you can see this one. This is the optic canal, the right-sided optic canal. And the optic canal is transmitting the optic nerve, okay? And the optic nerve, both of the optic nerve will be forming into the optic chasm, and then it will be formed as a optic tract. The right-hand side and on the left-hand side. Okay. Along with the optic uh, nerve, as I mentioned, you can have sometimes the uh, ophthalmic artery, and sometimes you can have the sympathetic nerves as well. Yes, sir. All right. After the uh, after the optic canal, the most important part is our this area. This area is known as who can tell me? Superior orbital fissure. Correct. This is the superior orbital fissure, and this area is transmitting a lots of lots of things. Okay. So uh, sometimes we just. Uh, become so much, you know, uh, we forget everything about the contents of this area. So first of all, I, I will tell you what are the main things you have to know from this one, and then you can add uh, different things, okay? So first of all, know what are the branches of this nerve. This nerve, what, what is the nerve? This is the ophthalmic nerve, right? Ophthalmic nerve. Okay, now the ophthalmic nerve, has some divisions, okay? Ophthalmic nerve has some divisions. As you can see here, it will give certain other divisions, okay? So first of all, from this aspect, you can have the uh, nasociliary one. From this aspect, you can have the lacrimal one. And from this frontal area, Frontal. You can have Frontal. you can you can have the frontal branch. Okay, so mainly there will be three branch. One is the nasociliary, the frontal, and the lacrimal branch of the ophthalmic. Okay, nerve, ophthalmic. Yes, ophthalmic nerve. So these are the few branches of the ophthalmic nerve. Okay, what else? What else? You can see here there are certain other nerves that are included here. So always remember in the this orbital fissure, it will contain the nerves that are responsible for our eyes, mainly. Ocular movement. Correct, ocular. So oculomotor nerve, also the trochlear nerve, and also the abducens nerve. Abducent these, are nerve. The, these are the main nerves that are the uh, responsible for our eye movement, along with the ophthalmic one. And ophthalmic one, it has some sensory part, correct? So the ophthalmic nerve will be divided into three. One is the nasociliary, another one is the frontal, and third one is the, our lacrimal. So those branches will be here as well. Okay, what else we can have in this area? So we can have some veins, correct? So let's try to see what are the veins that is coming here, okay? So mainly, this is the superior ophthalmic vein, as you can see here. Okay, this is the superior ophthalmic vein. And sometimes you can have the inferior ophthalmic veins, which you cannot see in the 3D, but in some textbooks it is written the inferior ophthalmic vein you can also have into this area. Is it clear about the contents yes, of sir. the superior orbital fissure? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, will you forget this again? I hope not. No, sir. Okay, because uh, I always, uh, so everyone is memorizing from the notes, okay? The lacrimal branch of the ophthalmic, the frontal branch of the ophthalmic, the nasociliary branch of the ophthalmic, don't memorize, please. 